Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well today I have a glute buster workout for you that hopefully will be nice and efficient and it utilizes one of my favorite rep formats. The 4x6, 5x5, and 6x4 format. Such a nice one. So what I've done with that format, instead of putting them all as straight sets as I've done in some other workouts, I'm putting them as supersets with some other glute busting moves. So you'll have some flying clams in there, you'll have fire hydrants, step ups, all that fun stuff. So I basically made this a rep based workout, but you will have some interval sets in there as well to challenge you and to make these supersets a lot more fun. So it'll all become clear in a minute once you start the workout. But what you're gonna need for this workout is of course your dumbbells, um, nice heavy ones if you can, if you have heavy barbells, do that. Do whatever you can to challenge yourself because the reps are low, but the sets are high. So um, I also use my 24 inch box for this. Um, you could sub those moves out for lunges or other glute focused moves. Um, and I also use resistance bands for this workout. If you don't have those, you could sub for some ankle weights or just do lots more reps and really squeeze, okay? So after you've grabbed all of your things, some water and that can-do attitude, which is a must-have for this workout. I'll see you back here for the warm-up. All right, guys, let's get this fun little glute workout started with a good warm-up. I'm just using my phone as a timer today. It's a little more quiet. Here we go. We're just gonna start out with some forward lunges. These don't have to be super deep at first, they can just be steps. Just wanna get those legs warmed up and work into that range of motion when you're ready. Tighten that core so you have some good balance for these lunges. One more each side. All right, now we're gonna go into some leg swings. So I'm just doing them this way, alternating. Almost like a toy soldier. You can definitely do them one leg at a time and hold on to something. Just dynamically warming up our hamstrings right now. Let's do one more. Each side. Awesome. Now we're going to go into some squats. We're going to open our hips at the bottom. So come down, open up those hips, and up. Really squeeze the glutes, wake them up. All right, let's do a few fire hydrates to get those glutes nice and activated. Let's go for 10 per side. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three. Keep that chest facing the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten straight leg pulses. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember to flex that foot. Ten. All right, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Awesome job. All right, let's do some frog pumps. So we're going to get the soles of our feet together and push those hips up. this warm up with a few back lunges. We've just got a few more seconds here. Really push into that heel as you push up. Feel that glute working. Make some contact. Mentally and physically with that muscle. One more back lunge each side. One and two. Awesome job, guys. We are finished with your warm up. Get all your equipment ready. I recommend doing a couple warm up sets of deadlifts with a lighter weight before you get into your heavyweight set. So, when you have done all of that and you're ready to start this workout with me, I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, I hope you are nice and warmed up and ready to go with these heavy deadlifts. We're gonna do four sets times six reps first. We're gonna pair that with some flying clams. That's what I call them at least. Uh, 15, 10, or 15, 12, 10, and eight reps per leg, okay? So for each round of those deadlifts, we're gonna do these clams at varying reps. So let's get started with our first set of heavy deadlifts. I'm using 40 pounds per hand here. Then I've got my weighted vest on. So here we go. We're going to do six reps. One, really squeeze. Two, shoulders down and back. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. Awesome job. I'm going to take my vest off with the vest and the weights. I've got about 92 pounds there for that first set. Mark off that you did your deadlifts. And we're going to do some flying clam. So, a flying clam is just this right here, okay? You're going to come up on that hip, lift the upper leg, and we're going to do 15 reps per side. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, having fun yet? Eight, nine, luckily the reps go down. 10, 11, 12, 13, drop your hip up. 14, 15, other side. Right away, might as well. Now I'm downhill for this one, this should be interesting. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. This side will be harder, your glutes already fatigued. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. My clams were not flying after that. All right, shake it out, get a drink. We'll get our vests back on and go back into those heavy deadlifts. This is a party time. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here we go, second set of six reps. We we'll stick with the 40 here. Here we go. Good positioning, soft knees, weight in the heels. One, two, 
three, four, two more, five, and six. Very good. Those weights down. Best off again. This time we have 12 flying clams per side. Starting on my right side, lifting the left leg. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Other side right away. Here we go. One, two, hope you can see me, three, four, five, six, seven, whoo, this side's hard, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ouch. Nice. Whew. All right. Get a drink. Make sure we're on here. Oh, yeah. All right. Sometimes it's hard to see that little red recording dot when you're all the way back here. It's not a big room. Maybe I'm just getting some old eyes. I don't know. All right, get your best back on if you're using it. I'm going to increase my weight to 45 pounds per hand. I'm going to get my super duper dumbbells here. sure that they are <laughs> all together and none of the plates slip out when you take them out. All right, here we go for six reps. There we go. One, two, three, four, Five, last one, six. Very, very good. Feels good. So that time I was doing 102 pounds with the best. Just telling you my weights as a guideline, not telling you you should be using what I'm using. You do what's challenging for you. That may be more, that may be less. All right, we're going to 10 flying clamps per leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, no big deal. Six, drive that tip up seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, other side. There we go. One, two, three, four, doing great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo, those are doozies. Those are doozies. Grab a drink. We are on to our last set for this four by six round. I'm gonna keep my weights right where they are. And move us right along. We just have one more set here, so I'll have a set of eight flying clams. Then you won't have to see them again. 
this workout, okay? All right, here we come. Six more reps. One, really squeeze. Two, three, four, five, and six. Very good. Take that vest off if you got it, and do those clams. You could also do this in reverse order so you don't have to take your vest off every time. You can knock out the clams first and then do the deadlifts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, good times. Six, seven, eight. Other leg and you're done with flying clams. That's motivation enough to get it done, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good, guys. You are all finished with this first superset group, okay? You've gotten through the four by sixes with the deadlift. You've gotten through that descending rep pyramid with the clamp. So now we're going into one minute of step ups and your five by five set, okay? So let's do the five by five first. We'll follow it up with a minute of step ups. I'm gonna get my vest back on. So I'm gonna go with 45 per hand, so that's 102 for me for these first couple sets. Then I think I'm gonna go up to 47 and a half per hand for the deadlifts, okay? All right, here we go. Just five reps this time, five sets. Here we go. One, two, think about your glutes, think about your hamstrings. Three, four, and five. Very good. I'm going to use my higher box here, my 24 inch box, just to really work into the glutes more. My leg is going to be at an angle greater than parallel, so I'm going to be activating my glutes a lot more with each step. So use what you've got. You have three seconds. I'm just going to use my vest here and the alternate sides. Now, what you could do is your first set alternating, and then the four sets after, you could do with just one leg at a time, okay? Make sure whatever you do, you're squeezing at the top, you're lowering down nice and slowly. This will get your heart rate up. But don't think of it as purely cardio. This is strength too. 15 seconds. You can add a weight here if you want to do that. Very good. All done with that. We knocked out our first set in that five by five group. I'm gonna grab a quick drink, breathe it out a bit. We're ready for our second set. If you need more time, go ahead and take it. We're still at 45 per hand here. So 102 total. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, and five. Very good. All right. We have five seconds. 
before I hit those step ups. I think this time I might do half a minute on one leg, half a minute on another. You could do the whole minute on one leg. Slowly lower down, squeeze at the top. I'm gonna go the whole minute on one leg. Change my mind. That's your prerogative. You can do that. So, you just have to remember to hit the right leg only. Next set. Fifteen to go. Make sure to push through that heel. You can really feel it on my glutes now on that left side. Three, two, one. All right. Very, very good. This is your second set. Knocked out. I'm going to adjust my weights here for the third set. 47 and a half. Her hand. So it's going to look like it's my full stack of power blocks, but I've taken one of the inserts out. So I've just got 47 and a half per hand as opposed to 50. will be our third set. And if you did step ups the way I did, you're going to do step ups all in your right this time. Okay, five reps. One, two, three, nice challenging weight. Four, push through those heels. Five. Oh, I can definitely feel that in my glutes. That is party time. All right. When you're ready, we're going to hit that next minute. Step ups, right leg only. Busting our glutes all to pieces today, only to build them back up and make them grow stronger. Take a lot of good rest after this workout. Making some good nutrition. So that after you stimulate your muscle for growth with exercise, you can also get it to repair and grow, and get stronger for you. The key to that is proper rest, hydration, and nutrition. I can't emphasize that more. If we take one of those out of the equation, it will not work out. Three, two, one. Very good. Whew, that's a doozy. We need to do it one leg at a time. I think I like it though. That's your third set knocked out. I'm going to grab a towel. I'm going to still use my 47 and a half pounds per hand for this fourth set, and then I'll move up, okay? Good times. How are you guys doing? That's the question. Make sure you're using a challenging weight. If you don't have heavy weights, add more sets, okay? Add more reps there. Here we go for five. Fourth set. One. Two. 
three, four, last one, five. Very good. Party time. Whew. I'm gonna go back to that left leg for this set. And I'm gonna hit 30 seconds on each side, I think. Nope, I'm just gonna do the left leg and then we'll go to the right. After our last set of these. Okay, left leg only. Can be a long minute, but it's okay. Focus on your glutes. Push up through that heel. Make some contact mentally and physically with that muscle. With those muscles. Slow it down on the way down. Reach for it. Squeeze at the top. Crack some walnuts. If anyone's behind you, embarrass them with your super squeeze. All right, awesome. That's your fourth set. All right, now we have one more set in your five by five round. One more minute of step ups, then we move on to your four by six. Good, good, good times. Grab a drink. Gear up for it. Play your hamstrings and glutes, it's gonna be okay. Won't be as long as it has been. Here we go. Still using 47 and a half per hand. That's my 12 pound weighted best. Here we go for five. Grin and bears. One, slow on the way down. Two, squeeze on the way up. Three, four, last one, five. Whew. All right, you know what's next. One minute of beautiful step ups. Right leg this time for me. We have five seconds. And we'll go again. What else would you be doing right now? Come on. Don't answer that. I always say that to my clients. Ah, oh, come on. What else would you be doing? They're like, I can think of a few things. <laughs> but nothing as beneficial as this. Think about that glute. I would normally say go to your happy place, but make that happy place your glutes so that you can get that mind-muscle connection going on as you drive through that heel up onto your box. So hard to take in my nose run. <laughs> 10 seconds, really push, be deliberate, three, two, one, very good, oh, nice work, nice, nice work, Whew. that was your fifth set, okay, so if y'all need a break for a couple minutes, absolutely do that, I'm going to get my weight set up for my six rounds by four reps set and in between that last group of low reps we're going to do one minute of banded lateral walks i'm sorry in advance so we're going to do three sets of those and we're going to do banded fire hydrants for the last three sets okay so it's going to be a good time so get a good rest meet me back i'll get my weight set up and we will tackle that you can do this
All right, guys, we are down to that last six by four set. So six sets, four reps apiece, plus some banded lateral walks and fire hydrants, because why not? Okay, I've got 50 pounds per hand here, so with my best, 112. There we go, four reps. Good positioning here, this is your heaviest weight. One, two, three, look about four feet ahead of you, four, very good, all right, set these bad boys up here this time, excellent, all right, get those bands on, I'm putting one around my quads, one around my calves, and we're going to do some lateral walks for one minute. You are probably going to hate your life during this minute, but your glutes will thank you so much later. They may thank you with some nice soreness. I don't know. All right. Here we go. You have five seconds. I'm going to do like three steps per side to keep it even. That's about the length of my mat. I'm also hinging over to really get my weight back in my heels and to feel it in my glutes, okay? This is not a good time <laughs> already. That's okay. Lateral movements are very important when we work the glutes because our gluteus medius really works in that way, in that range of motion. Working the glutes from every angle is crucial because that's how we move. We don't just move in one plane of motion. So to be the strongest and most functional, we move in lots of different ways. <sighs> Heavy and light weights, high and low volume, five seconds. Oh, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Good job. Whew. All right, take those bands off. That is miserable but beneficial. I think the benefits far outweigh the cost, or at least you may feel that way after you're done. All right, that's your first set in all six. Breathe it out, let's crush four more reps here. There we go, shoulders down and back. Squeeze your lats. One, two, slow lower down, three, and four. Very good. Oh man, not ready to put those bands back on again. But press on, we shall. You hear my pun there, butt press on Misha, since it's a glute workout. Now, if you want this to be harder, put your heavier band on the lower parts of your leg. It'll be lots harder to uh, make those lateral steps. Not that that needs to be any harder in my opinion, but you do you. All right, here we go, you got five seconds. And we're gonna knock this out. Oh, here we go. Hinging over. Three steps at a time for me. Stronger, more carved, more functional glutes. Three steps at a time, right? Just think to those next three steps. Don't think about how many seconds you've got to go. Just get through the next three steps, okay? Think about your positioning. The further you hinge, the more you're going to feel it in those glutes, okay? If you need to straighten up for a minute, take your lateral walk, get everything under control, and then hinge again. Go right ahead. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
Pull, pull, pull. Next three steps. Next right choice. All the same. All right, very good. You're all finished. Put talk over. <laughs> now I'm going to sit down and cry and take my bands off. Very good. You only have one more set of those lateral banded walks. Then we'll do something equally mean for the next three sets, okay? Oh man. How are you guys doing? Whew. I'm thankful for a lot this week. I'm thankful for my glutes. I'm also thankful my grandma had a uh, a surgery for some cancer they found, some breast cancer they found, and she came through it beautifully, like the champ she is. Um, so I'm really thankful for that. <sighs> Always try to think about, especially during your rest periods where you might not feel like you're thankful for anything, <laughs> think about the things you're thankful for. And the hard stuff will seem maybe just a little bit easier. All right, here we go for our next four reps. I've got 112 pounds here. This is as high as my weights go. So if yours go, if yours go higher and you need more of a challenge, you go right ahead and switch those weights out. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Last one. Four. A good pull. This is our last set of those terrible, terrible lateral walks. So just get through it. As best you can. You need to straighten up. You need to shake it out. Totally do it. Not a big deal. All right, here we go. Let's crush it. Five seconds. Since I ended this way, I'm going to start this way. Three steps. Think about that gluteus medius, abducting that leg away from the midline of your body. Have fun with it. I giggle when it hurts, so. <laughs> That's always a good time. So if you hear me giggling a lot, I'm in a lot of pain. My clients always giggle when I stretch them. So I can always tell when I've gone just the right amount. Whew. Shake it out, five seconds. I got to that point where my legs just would not go. <laughs> oh my, shaking. Anybody else shaking? All right, that's your third set of everything knocked out. So for your next three sets, we're gonna do banded fire hydrants, 30 seconds per leg. So that should also be a real good time. Take a limit, take a drink. We're approaching that fourth set. This is where it gets to be all mental. Okay, luckily we're changing out our banded move, so that'll help you just kind of have something different to focus on, but the deadlifts I'm sure are getting harder. So just focus, try to get through. You're halfway through this last set. There we go for four more reps. One, really squeeze. Two. Three. And four. Good job. All right. I'll pop my vest off of these. Just for ease of transition here. We're gonna, I'm gonna use two bands. 
I think, <laughs> for these fire hydrants. Let me go down to one. This may be just not the best idea I ever had, but you can always change as you go. Okay, double banding here. Getting our timer all set up. You have five seconds. First 30 seconds I'm doing on my left. Second 30 seconds I'm gonna do on my right. Here we go. Double banding's fun. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Said no one ever. Do a good job, slow lower down. Got about 10 more seconds on this side. Have fun yet? Keep that chest facing down, open those hips. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Now here's the tricky part. That second leg is already gonna be fatigued from stabilizing you, so get your mind right. Know that it's gonna be harder from the beginning. Expectations are usually the downfall of all of us. If you expect it to be harder, it might not seem so bad. Four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, pop it up. Or hobble up, whatever works. All right, get this band off. Your fourth set is finished. Going on to that fifth set. I'm gonna strap my weighted vest back on for that extra 12 pounds. <laughs> my next purchase is gonna be some heavier weight plates for my barbell. I got it for Christmas from my sister. So, I've gotten some lighter plates for it. Looking to get heavier ones. All right, four deadlifts. Here we go. One, still 112 pounds. Two, three, last one. Four. Band on. Can do attitude strap right on with those bands. Because why not? I'm double banding again because I'm just a glutton for punishment today. I just found a piece of chocolate on my floor. If it gets too bad, I'll just start licking. <laughs> the things you find on your floor when you have kids. And when you have kids and their grandfather watches them for the evening while you're working. You find really cool stuff on the floor. Oh, I wouldn't trade any of them for the world. All right, five seconds. Remember, we're 30 seconds on one side. Here we go. Drive it up there. Only 30 seconds. 30 seconds of your entire life. That puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Five seconds to go. All right, other side. Expect the fatigue, expect the shakiness, but also expect to win. seconds. Doing great. Keep that chest facing down. This is only movement from the hip. Very good. You made it. Two times you made it. You notice I didn't pop up as energetically that time, but that's okay. We move on. All right. So that's your fifth set of those. We have one more set. 
<sighs> Feels good. Are you ready to hit your last set of deadlifts? I hope you are. Because I am. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, last one, four, very, very good. So that's your last set of deadlifts. This is your last set of fire hydrants. So get those bands on, take the vest off, you've got it. If you don't have bands here, you can use ankle weights. You can squeeze extra hard or go a whole minute on each side. Lots of ways to make this work for you. All right, here we go. Party time. You have five seconds. We'll get into those fire hydrants. There we go. You're doing great. Keep focused, ten more seconds. Other side. Don't kick your wall. <laughs> or in my case, your window, which I almost did. Really push. Good job. You guys have crushed this workout. Now, we're going to go into your cool down, but I'm also going to issue a bit of a challenge if you want a longer workout here, okay? So if you want a longer workout, I'm going to add one more superset to this. You're going to do it three times. You're going to do box step ups, 12 per leg, weighted. I'd use a barbell for that um, if I were doing it here. And then some lateral lunges, 10 per side. So three sets, 12 reps a piece of weighted step ups, three sets, 10 reps a piece weighted lateral lunges, okay? That's your challenge. Now let's go into your cool down after you wiped off, cleared out your space, okay? Awesome job, guys. I'm so proud of you. All right, guys, cool down time. We're gonna start off with just some bent rockers. So make a nice little triangle with those feet. Hook at the elbow and then rocker time. Really just elongate that spine as you lean over, round over your shoulders. Feel some length being created as you do that. Release <coughs> some pressure. <laughs> Baby sneeze at the end of the video. <laughs> My little guy's down here. All right, we're going to take left hand to right foot. With integrity, we're going to twist that spine. Don't collapse into your hand. Really lift and twist. All right, come back to the center. Press into those hands. Work on your hands. Now we're going right hand to left toe. Twisting again with integrity, lifting the chest up. center again. Giving some extra love to those hamstrings today. Now we're going to twist the left foot, come down into a half lunge, 
and stretch the hip flexors. Feel this on that right side pretty good. All right, we're going to come back on that back foot, stretch the hamstring again. All right, pull it back up, hit that hip flexor again. and do the same thing on the other side, okay? So we're going to get down into that half lunge, working on the hip flexor. That is a muscle that gets really tight really quickly from sitting a lot. It gets tight quickly anyway, but if you have a kind of a sedentary desk job, that one gets nice and tight throughout the day. All right, come back on that foot, hamstring stretch. Flexor again. Push into it. Excellent. Step the back foot to the front foot. Okay. Get another hamstring stretch. I'm not kidding about it. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to slowly come up. Get a piriformis stretch. So if you don't have super good balance. You're going to cross the legs at the knee, sit back into that heel, and you're going to feel a really deep stretch in your glutes. Right. All right, let's switch sides. So you can also do this without holding on. And just use your balance and your core strength. Now, let's go into a pure, I'm sorry, an IT band stretch. You just did your piriformis, so we're going to cross that foot. You should feel this. If you're crossing the right foot over, you should feel it in the left leg on the outside of that knee and up to your hip. All right, other side. stretch and then we'll be all finished. Use that other arm for counterbalance, drive the hips forward, relax the leg. All right, other side. Last stretch here guys. I hope you all are feeling awesome. Your cool down is all finished. Let me know if you did the bonus set to just really burn out those glutes. And I will see you up at the camera for our send off. Awesome job today, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this glute buster workout. I hope it made you shake and tremble as it did me. I can still feel my gluteus medius saying, ouch, stop it. Um, so I hope you are having those same kinds of feelings and feeling nice and challenged and amazingly strong because you are. So now, just like we talked about in the video, nutrition and hydration and rest are so important. So get a lot of water today, get a healthy post-workout meal 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. If you have questions about how to really nourish your muscles, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com. Also, if you want more glute torture, email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com, okay? Make sure to stretch some more if you need to today. Um, take care of your amazing body and rest because all this work amounts to nothing if you don't let your muscles rest because if they don't rest, they can't rebuild, okay? All right, so make sure that you do that. Make sure you tell other people about us, about Velvet Hammer Fitness, so that they can reap the amazing benefits 
and feel the strongest and healthiest they've ever felt. So like and subscribe if you have not done that. Tell your friends and family and we will all be healthy and strong and having lots of fun appreciating our amazing bodies in the process. So other than that, have an amazing week. Love those difficult people. Get out and get some sunshine um, and be thankful for the beautiful world we live in. Um, be thankful for yourself. Try not to be too hard on yourself and make that next right choice, okay? Just like we said in the workout, next three steps, okay? Think of that next thing, not the bigger elephant in the room, okay? So whether your glutes feel nice and pumped and perky or whether they feel totally deflated after this workout, you finished. And as always, it is your health today and every day. So you better hit it hard. Here comes the hammer. Boom! I'll see you guys very soon. I hope you enjoy your glute pump, and I'm always proud of you.